everyone, it's Mari here for Honeybee Stamps. I'm going to be creating this card for you today using a bunch of products from the brand new Adventure Awaits collection. That will include this gorgeous Lovely Layers Owl die set and the Lovely Layers Slice and Stump die set. These pair really nicely with the Into the Woods 3D embossing folder. This is just a gorgeous embossing folder that creates the most interesting background. You can see on the right there, the paper that has been embossed with that folder and I'll just give you a little look at it up close. The texture on that is just absolutely stunning and I'm going to be using that for the background for my project. What I'll do with that to begin with is I'll add some ink and this is some Distress Oxide ink and Peacock Feathers. I'm going to blend that onto the top section Then I'm going to go in with Fossilized Amber next and just blend that through kind of just creating um, a little bit of an impression of a sky in the evening as it goes from sort of like dusk um, from daytime to dusk and where you get that beautiful blue sky with the yellows and oranges so that's what I was going for here and so now I'm just using a little bit of dried marigold for that orange portion and I will blend those colors together a little bit as well just to create a really nice smooth progression from one color to the next so there I've just I'm just finishing that up and once I'm done with that I'll give you a little bit of a close-up with that as well you can see all of that gorgeous color and texture just to create the most gorgeous background now I'm going to also go in and colorize my owl and this is not going to be a traditionally colored owl at all I just was feeling like I wanted to make my owl look a little bit different than a real owl that you might see in the forest so I'm going to use the same colors that I used for my background on that owl this is the base layer or the bottom layer for the the this owl and I've just used a combination of the fossilized amber and the peacock feathers in those different areas that you can see there and I'm just going to go ahead and continue to use the three colors that I used for the background on the different layers of my owl. So for the breast area, I'm using that dried marigold. And anywhere where there's embossing on the paper, that's where you want to get your ink because those are the, the spots that are going to show on your, your lovely layers elements here. So I definitely wanted to get some more of this really pretty turquoise color with that peacock feathers. And I'll also use a little bit of the fossilized amber on that wing as well. You'll just see me testing these pieces out as I'm putting them, as I'm thinking about what they're gonna look like when they are on the owl. So as I colorize them, I just go ahead and put them over onto the owl and just make sure that I'm really happy with how the colors look before I glue the owl together. So I'm just gonna go through each one of the different pieces in that same way um, until I'm happy with how this is going to look and so just wanted to get a little bit of that peacock feathers on the face but I end up changing that later to a dark brown just because it's not going to produce the effect that I need it to with the turquoise and then that last little piece there that I'm going to add just to test it out is the dried marigold. So this larger face piece I'm actually going to go in with my ground espresso and darken that up so that it is going to really pronounce the beak of the owl and the eyes. It just makes it look a little bit more um, realistic, I guess, but also so that you can actually see those elements better. And I wanted to bring that brown into another area on the owl as well. So I went ahead and did the feet in the ground espresso as well. Now I'm going to start to assemble my owl here so I'm just going to add my honeybee liquid glue to each of the different layers on the back and this is super super easy to assemble uh, really simple it looks more complicated than it than it is for sure when you look at it you may think oh gosh like how am I going to layer that together but it actually is really really easy to put together I feel like all of the lovely layers are though I feel like they're just really well designed and they are super super easy to layer up so I wanted to leave a portion of this piece white just for sort of like a little bit of a white accent and here you'll just see I'm going in and of course using the tweezers to add these in it just makes it a whole lot easier so there's that dark piece there which is just going to really pronounce some of the details and then this last little piece is just going to go over the eyes and the beak area just to really define those areas as well. Now I'm adding just a tiny little bit of liquid adhesive to 
the eye area to add on this last little die which I've left white and this is just the little sort of like half circle die cut piece that is meant to finish off the eyes and just create that area of the owl's eye that typically would be white or a color that defines the iris of the eye I guess and I'm just going in with my blending brush and I'm going to just add some other color in here as well to finish it off so I'm just adding a little bit of that peacock feathers to the head where it's white and I wanted to just add some color back in so I'm just using one of the smaller detail brushes from honeybee to do that job and I really love how this looks I like the color combination I think it's really pretty I think it almost looks like the owl is kind of like a white owl and the color is a reflection of the forest behind it at least that was kind of what I thought when it was all finished and I just think it looks really neat it's there's a real really cool tone on tone look once the owl is placed onto the background now I'm going to use some frayed burlap and some ground espresso to colorize the frayed burlap and ground espresso I hope that's what I said I always mess up the the colors in these videos um, but that is what I used here and I'm just using the frayed burlap to begin with just a really light application of that and then I'm using the ground espresso just around the edges just to define those edges really well and so it just gives it a little bit more depth and dimension in that way and brings this stump to life a little bit more and so again here with this base layer of the stump I'm just going around with that ground espresso to darken up those edges and I will list in the description box below all of the different colors that I've used for this project and all of the different products from the shop so that you can find those if you want now I've added some foam adhesive to the back of my card front and I'm just taking those release pieces off of there and I'm going to also add a little bit of liquid adhesive to each one of these strips just so that it add, makes it a little bit easier to add this to my card base I am going to be using a white A2 size top folding card base here for my project and so once I've got that all good to go I'm going to just go and take that to my card base and add that on now I did size this card front down just slightly smaller than my A2 size card base so that I do have just a tiny little white margin around the edge which I like I like how that frames the card in and once that's nicely adhered I'm going to go ahead and add the stump and the owl to my project just by adding a little bit of foam adhesive to the different areas now that foam adhesive on the owl's head there on the back I'm actually going to double that up eventually because I want that to be a little bit more prominent than the rest of the foam adhesive that I've used so I'm going to add a little layer of foam adhesive to the stump as well and this is just going to give some nice dimension to both the stump and the owl so I'm going to get that in place I just wanted to center justify mostly this bit and the sentiment is going to go kind of across that stump at the bottom area there so this is where I'm just going to double up the foam adhesive on the head and so that the bottom of the owl is the same level of dimension as the stump and then the head's just a little bit higher now I'm just going to take a little bit of Dina Wakely white gloss spray and I'm going to take a fine brush and just splatter some white paint splatter onto my project I just like how that just finishes it off it makes it look a little bit more interesting and I'm going to add that in this dries with some dimension as well which I think is also kind of fun and going to add that on and once that's all dry I'm going to go ahead and add my sentiment and some pearls to the project so this is a sentiment here that says happy father's day and now this sentiment is from the hooked on you sentiment set and so I've stamped it out in black and then die cut it with a coordinating die from the coordinating die set and that is just a really great spot for that sentiment I think now these are the ombre pearl stickers oh my gosh these are so lovely I love them so much and there's actually a set of pearls on here that are kind of that turquoise and yellow color just perfect coordinating so nicely with the colors that I've used here in this project so I'm just going to put down I think five pearls around the card and just to frame this in nicely and add just that little bit of extra detail I really like how that looks 
I'm just going to finish that up by adding a little bit of a larger one there and just using my pen blade to help me apply those. This is all finished friends. I hope that you were inspired. I have linked up to all of the products that I've used today in the description box below. Have an amazing day and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.